I think this is the one, guys. Hello there, my beautiful, lovely internet friends. Welcome back to my channel where Sophie, our co-host, will be joining me today because she's feeling very needy and needs attention. Honestly, same. So here's the thing. I have a large life update to share with you. It'll affect the channel. It's going to affect my life quite a bit in positive and also some more challenging ways. And as I was thinking about this video, I reflected back on my long form video history over the last couple of months and thought, wow, Joe. You've kind of been depressing. And so I psyched myself out for days. I was like, I can't make this video unless I'm happy about it. Unless I'm like, this is a great change. Yay, let's let's be positive. Uh, but that's not how I actually feel. And so I'm just gonna show up honestly and kind of talk through what's been going on because I need to move. I mentioned a few videos ago when I got my wheelchair that this house is not remotely wheelchair accessible. The biggest issues being that nothing is on the same floor. I think I'll give it, I'll give it some time, right? Like I'll use this inside for a while, see how I feel, see what modifications can be made here to make it easier for me. But I'm not sure if I will be able to stay here. I'll probably finish out my lease. Breaking my lease would be expensive to try to find a new place, but I will let my body dictate that. You know, if it's if it's causing me too much pain to try to like be mobile and go up and down stairs and let the dogs out on stairs, then I'll definitely consider seeing if I can make that happen. I would need my bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, and like living area would need to be on the same level. And those are pretty much all on different levels in this house. And so using my chair at home, because of the pain that I've been experiencing in my residual limb in my stump. Even though I really need to be, I haven't been using my wheelchair because I'm constantly having to put my leg on anyways to go do something. And so in that video, when I'm introducing my wheelchair, I kind of joked about the fact that, oh, you know, maybe I might have to move, but I'm gonna make this work. I can't really make this work. And I'm at a place in my life where something sort of needs to shift because of the uh, amount of pain and exhaustion and overwhelm that I'm in. And I realized that having a place to inhabit, to come home to and be able to actually rest instead of it being exhausting and more work is probably really important. And so I started the process of trying to see if I could get out of my lease for accessibility reasons, perhaps transfer to another property in their same network. Okay, on first glance, this looks like it has potential. I know that everything that I would need is completely on one level here. Kitchen, look, I could fit a wheelchair in there. I could navigate, that's gonna be a problem. I believe that is the back door. I don't know if that's wide enough for the dogs and my wheelchair. Okay, so I know that my wheelchair needs 26 inches. So this is the amount of room my wheelchair needs, meaning there would be like eight inches for the dogs to squeeze through. That just seems like a problem. I don't think this will work, but it is a very cute house. Okay, uh, next house, it would work. She said with a lot of hesitancy, it would work. It would be hard to move around that kitchen, that is for sure. Uh, I couldn't, it couldn't open the fridge. That'd be a bummer, I do like eating. But the whole time I was thinking, this is a little over dramatic, Joe. You're not gonna move, it's fine, you're fine. You don't really need that, okay? Um, but I kept doing the things I needed to do, like getting a doctor's note, stating the reason why, submitted the application, all of that, and then heard back that I got the, the green flag, that I could transfer my lease to another property property, one that is more accessible. So take a look, let us know which property and we'll be good to go. And then I was kind of like, oh shoot, I am doing this. Cause even though I was going through the rational steps needed to be able to move, I wasn't actually allowing myself to think I really need that. Because here's the thing, moving is freaking exhausting. I just moved here a few months ago. I don't want to have to leave. I like it here. So I kept thinking, I'm not really gonna do this. I'm just sort of playing at it, just seeing where it might go. And then as, as the approval came through, I was like, oh yeah, I really need to do this. My body needs needs a break and my mind needs a break from dealing with the additional pain and complication. And here's where I'm bummed out at myself because I feel like I should be a little happier about this. I hate should, but my brain still operates under it. She just gave me her paw to hold because she's a very good dog. I looked at a lot of places and eventually I found one. Ignore the puppy mud on my shoes. So walking up the stairs, this is a kitchen, dining room, living room, and then the backyard access is right here. Pretty big backyard for the dogs too, which is super important because they can't walk them every day. And so having a yard where they can run, I can throw tennis balls, they can get some exercise. What would I do with this counter space? Um, what would I do? I'd figure out something. I think this one would be the master bedroom. I like that it actually has a bathtub. And then another bedroom on the main level to use as an office filming location and things like that. One thing that's definitely a downside, but it's a downside every single place I've looked at, is that this is not a wheelchair accessible doorway. However, I think that'd be okay. You know, brought my wheelchair to here. I can stand up. I have this to, to be able to hop just a couple steps. I could also probably install like a bar, a handle, something like that. This could be a good option. Okay, so if it's available, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm not 
looking forward to the prospect of the actual work of moving, but I think this is the one, guys. Uh, I'm gonna reach out to my rental company, make sure it's still available and everything. This is something I can totally work with. It would relieve a lot of pressure from my leg, a lot of mental pressure from dealing with pain. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. That's bittersweet, but I'm really excited to have found a place. It would enable me to be able to come home, stay on one level the entire time that I'm at home from letting the dogs out to going to bed, making food, whatever it is, I wouldn't have to put my prosthetic leg on. I wouldn't have to walk. And that's a good thing. That's in my neighborhood. It's it's a great little place. I really want to be excited for this because I found a way to meet the accessibility needs that I have. I think the problem is I just don't like that I have accessibility needs, that I need to recognize my own boundaries. Full scale moving madness is going to commence. I think I'll be needing to move in, in about a week, so it's nice to have that kind of crossover, but it's gonna need to happen quickly because I didn't really think I was gonna be moving. It's also very expensive to move twice um, in a couple months, but I gotta make it work because this is genuinely what my body needs, even though I might not be thrilled about the fact that it's necessary. I am very happy to have found a place that might have more rest and ease and less pain. So with that being said, uh, let the moving madness commence. Can I just use this as a microphone for the rest? Hold on. I think she'll let me too, because she doesn't mind her, her paws being held. Can I use this as a mic? Thank you so much, my dear internet friends, for joining me for today's video update. You know, it's been a year and uh, nothing is really a straight line. I like how I'm actually using this like a serious microphone because she would let me. But I feel like I need to give that back to her. The reality of life that we all know is that sometimes you're dealt cards that you don't necessarily love but you can make the best of it, which is exactly what I am gonna gosh darn do, even if I don't feel like it today. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for supporting my channel and what I do here. A huge thank you to my patrons over on Patreon for financially supporting this channel. I couldn't do this without you guys. And most importantly to you watching this video right now, thank you for spending a few minutes out of your day here with me today. You could be anywhere else in the world doing anything else, but you chose to hang out with me for a few minutes and I truly appreciate that, thank you. I love you guys, I'm thinking about you, and I will see you in the next video. She's swimming, Sophie's swimming. She's so sleepy from doing nothing. Mwah, mwah. Bye guys.